I want to make some reviews. So this is the twenty twenty kilowatts day battery case. So these are the accessories that comes with it. So this is the wireless monitoring dog so this is it the male and female piece for the panel so I have um, three females and three males connected to the solar panel. So the inverter also has um, three strings, uh, two strings. So these are the clips to hold the inverter. So this is the network um, cord to connect the inverter with the battery. These are the uh, magnetic uh, cord to connect the battery and the uh, and the internet uh, connector. <coughs> This is the CCTS. CTS one. So it has three because this is a three phase. Yeah. Okay. So. So this is the second one. Third one. So, this is the inverter. So, it has an arm inside it, which makes it uh, easy for carrying. See how to do that. So you can see this is the inverter. So this is the Wi-Fi connector point. So we are going to this is the DC isolator. This is the switch for on and off. This is the holder for easy carry. So in this you can see the Specification for the inverter a 20 kilowatts with the maximum input of 800 voltage in DC. The 
MPPT range is from 160 VDC to 650. The maximum PV input current 60 36 um, hams in DC plus 20 hams DC because it has them um, two input. So maximum PV input power is 30,000 watts or 30 kilowatts. And PV short circuit current 54 hams for stage one and 30 hams for stage two. So the battery is a um, 48 volt with the maximum charging and discharging current of 350 hams in DC. So you can see AC input voltage, three live, neutral, and health. That's 230 hams for each of them. The total of 400 and 400 volt in AC. The frequency is um, 50 to 60. Maximum input output to weighted current 29. So, and the load is also load output is also in three phase. So we are going to have three output and three inputs for this inverter. So when you come here. So for the input, so this is the battery point, the communication one, communication two, communication three. So this is the um, PV input. So we have two strings, which uh, the first string has a um, two input, two strings. Why the second string have just single string? As in, this is uh, two strings, string one, string two. So the first string is only has just one uh, port, while the second string has two ports. For that's double positive, double negative. So these are the battery connectors for each of the positive and negative. This is the grid point for uh, national grid for Nigeria we are using PACN here so for the electric that we have is uh, Ikeja electricity so this is the generator point if we are to run generator for it but we are not connecting any generator for this place and this is the output where the load for the house will be connected so I'm going to try to open it just to give you some views of oh, how it looks like inside. So you can bring the camera closer so you can see. So it has um, two positive uh, it has two positive um, battery connectors and also two negative um, battery connectors. So and it has an isolator here where you can just put off the battery. So this is for positive and negative. So this is the parallel point where you can make a parallel parallel connection to add another 20 kV inverter to it. This is the meter connector. This is the mode bus, the BMS to connect with the 
um, the battery. So this is the breaker for the um, for the grid. So it's an 100 amps um, breaker, the three phase of it, and this is the load part of the inverter. So you can see the load neutral life one, life two, and uh, life three. So you can see load life one, life two, and life three. And the gem part also a three phase. So this is the head um, bar where the head can be connected. So this is the where the city L will be connected. I mean these uh, white connectors, uh, white um, sensors. They are going to be connected with it. So the one and two is for the battery temperature sensor. So you are going to be running you as we keeps on and doing uh, making the connection. <coughs> so thank you.